Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new episode from König and Bauer Live. It's day three, live from Radeboy, from the Customer Experience Center here from König and Bauer Schiedfett. And it's post-press day. Yeah. First, I would like to introduce to you Ralf Samek. I don't know if I still have to introduce him, but he is here and I'm glad. He's the CDO of König and Bauer and the CEO of König and Bauer Schiedfett. Hi, Ralf. Great that you're here again. How do you feel on day three? Sven, I feel great. And uh, first of all, thank you very much that you're all here with us. And uh, I can promise today we have again new machines, first time. So we launched several machines today, first time. And I'm really excited about it. Well, uh, König and Bauer is worldwide known for building the best Press, press machines. So why do you invest so much hard and time and energy in the post press? Yeah, Sven, you are absolutely right. So the top 30 folding carton packaging printers, they all have König and Bauer machines. And talking to them over the last years, they always asked me, Ralph, it would be so great if we would have an alternative also for post press. So one day I came back and said, Dear colleagues, I have an idea. So, and uh, to make a long story short, so we decided, yes, we want to be the first choice, not only on, for printing presses, we want to be also the first choice in post press. So in die cutting and also in gluing. So we spent a lot of money over the last years. We formed an unbelievable team and I'm really proud about it. And my compliments to my team, because we have a great mixture of very young engineers, very experienced engineers from the post-press industry, mm -hmm. and in combination also with our engineers here from Radeboy, the sheet fed guys, we had a, or we have a great team together. And what you will see today on die cutting and also on gluing is, uh, I have to say, I think we are there the goal we had in mind to be first choice for our customers, not only for printing presses. I think you will all see this today with our new machines. I think we made it, but <laughs> again, I would like to invite you all to come to Radeboil to see our new equipment, test our new equipment, and I'm looking forward to get your comments on our technology But again, I'm really excited for today because this is the first day we will show it to our customers. One last question, Ralf. Uh, did you already get any feedback from our viewers, from your customers regarding König and Bauer Live? It's day three now. Yeah, absolutely. So we got a lot of very positive comments and compliments about uh, how we do this event. It's very different, of course. And what we also heard from our customers that they are amazed how much we invested and they see also how strong König and Bauer is as a company, financially strong, because as you can imagine, with all these new products of the whole König and Bauer group, you have to have the financial background to do this. And uh, of course, we have always our customers in mind. How can we support our customers? with equipment, but also with services, digitalization, to make them more profitable and more successful. Ralf, th thanks so far. We'll see us tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks a lot. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's get it on. Let's do some hot post-press stuff today. We already printed some packages uh, on the brand new Rapida 106X yesterday. And today we also have a new world premiere for you, as Ralf already mentioned, in a quite excited way. Dirk Winkler is here now with me, head of print technology here at König and Bauer Schiedfett. Dirk, how are you doing? Good, and you? Fine, thank you. Thanks, Sven. Dear guests, first, I would like to reiterate how pleased I am to open today our new customer experience center here in Radeboil. And I can only underline Ralph's invitation to come over to Radeboil and see us here live and in action. We are standing here in our new competence center on more than 3,000 square meter, fully packed with the newest technology for modern packaging production. 
we are able first time to show you a full step complete packaging workflow from Koenig and Bauer. Complete means for us printing, cutting and gluing. And I'm really pleased to announce a new world premiere, our new Cut Pro X106. Developed together with you, dear customers. Developed for the most effective and productive rotary die cutter in the world. And soon, our post-press specialist, Mario and Sven and Johannes will tell us a bit more about the features and the potential of the new post-press equipment. Thank you, Dirk, and welcome, Mario. Welcome on stage. How do you do, Mario? I'm all right. Thank you, Sven. So last time we were doing some cool die cutting and gluing stuff was about a year ago on uh, the open house here in Radebeul. Mm -hmm. Please, Mario, tell us a bit more about the strategy of König and Bauer in post press. Oh, there's a lot to talk about. <laughs> we there's got a lot time. to talk about. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now, we did a lot over the last 12 months, as you indicated. Um, we did a lot of new developments. Dirk indicated it already that we will really show firework today of new developments, of new machines, of high-tech stuff. And on the other hand, you talked about our post-press strategy. As you know, as already explained last year, our post-press strategy is based on a three-pillar system. On the one hand, we have Koenig and Bauer Iberica. On the other hand, we have uh, Koenig and Bauer for sheet-fed, rotary-based material. And we have Koenig and Bauer Duran for our folding uh, carton machines for photo glures. And in that base, um, I see this very lightning in that sense. Since yesterday, we have had great pleasure to see our Rapida print presses. And coming from print and knowing what we can show in post press, we really have the chance to, to create a one stop shop experience for our customers that they can purchase and see and experience a very wide variety of uh, production processes and workflow from Koenig and Bauer out of one hand, out of one source. And in that sense, we see us as a solution provider to experience a higher productivity and a better workflow at our customers' shop floors. Starting to go a little bit more into detail, I see this on, from our print press point of view that we have our Rapida technology is well known in the market and we want to do the same thing in Postpress. So therefore, we started to create our own brand name. Our new die cutters will be called Cut Pro. And this is the first step into the future from our side. What we will see now as a world premiere is our Cut Pro X 106 mm -hmm. with an automatic planking system a couple of um, customers, it's well known as an RDC. So the RDC changes from RDC to Cut Pro X, but the impossible or impossible thought, the, 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 the great 15,000 sheets per hour production speed will stay the same. So the name changed, it was Rotary Die Cutter. It's Cut correct. X Pro, but it's still yes. rotating, right? It's still rotating. And the X is the fast section <laughs> of it. Coming now to our flatbed die cutters, Koenig and Bauer Iberica, part of the family since 2010 since 2016, I'm sorry. So um, over the last years, we have made a very good development together with our headquarters here in Rotterdam to see from a technical point of view, we, we were able to merge Rapida print press technology mm -hmm. into Iberica die cutting technology. We have seen a couple of new features. We have seen new machines over the last years. But now I would like to hand over to Patrick, our colleague in Barcelona, and hopefully he is going to show us the latest and greatest developments on the flatbed side. Patrick, go ahead.
Hi, I'm Patrick Masson, heading post press for Koenig & Bauer. I'm very pleased and thank you for joining us today. Koenig & Bauer R&D developments in Germany, in Spain, with the support of several specialists on die cutters, spent quite some good time to develop these new die cutters. We are pleased today to introduce you the Cut Pro Q106. This is the first 100% Koenig & Bauer developments. This newest die cutter on the market is of high output and let's say high performance. May I introduce you to Ramon. Ramon Vega is R&D director. He has been managing this process. Mm -hmm. Ramon, speaking with the market, they're only coming with many, many questions. May I ask you a few of them mm -hmm. and let's Absolutely. see how it goes. Let's start with a, with a feeder. Okay. Okay, Ramon, a feeder, a good feeder must be easy to set up, of course, high speed and with a good non-stop. Mm -hmm. What's about this development? So actually what you see here is basically a Rapido 106 feeder. Okay. What we've done is to adapt it so that it can uh, um, drive a printed sheet and also so the table it's different, also the transport table, so that it matches our die cutter, right? But it comes with all the functionalities of the latest Rapido 106, so all these uh, automations and, and the normal functionality. This is very nice. Yes. Now on all die cutters within the industry, we know 60 to 80 percent of the stop of the trips mm -hmm. are coming in the in feed. So a good in feed must be seamless, and of course we must get a good cut to print register. What development did we make? So this is actually it's a complete new uh, system as well, and it does what you say. So these two things. On one side we have an optical system that allows us to correct the position of the sheet so that we ensure that the an can I show inside? Yeah. Okay. Yes. You see the cameras on top, and then you see yeah, the camera on uh, top. Like, there's an alignment wagon on the bottom, but anyway, mm -hmm. the, in, a, in a nutshell, how this works is that we uh, read the sheet, we know where it is, we correct the position so that we hand it over the machine at the right uh, position. With this, we, had, we can get very good accuracy. This is at speed, of course, but also the nice part of it is that the system is capable to cope with any variation. Can I say this is really the state of the art development today? Absolutely, absolutely. Beautiful. Now, speaking about Die cutter, we have to look at the sector. We don't have time to go on the back side. Mm -hmm. Still, we need to have a good sectors for the stop and go. And of course, stripping and blanking has to be, let's say, efficient. Mm -hmm. What did you develop on that? So again, this is a, actually, it's a complete new architecture. And the reason for that is because to make sure that we can run at very high speed with a smooth movements, so which is critical at the end when we're moving the sheet uh, in the machine. So to have a good quality, small nicks and all, all things like that. So new movement uh, with uh, smooth at high speed. This is so this has been completely redesigned. Yes, yes. Well, well it's done. A new architecture. Now I heard about something, and I know you worked hard on a new interleaving system mm -hmm. with a new non-stop on the blanking. What did you do on that? Yeah, this is also a very nice uh, new design that we have done, and it's actually it's a new concept if you compare to other solutions in the market. So basically, what we've done is to uh, integrate two functions into one system, which is the non-stop and also the interleave. So with this, we have less interruptions. It's a more, um, um, so you, net, uh, you get an improved net output because of less stops and all that. One important feature here though, is that uh, because of the way it is uh, done, you don't need to set up any sword or anything like that. So it's uh, actually zero time for the make ready. This, of is, the... this is amazing. Yes, no yes. setup time, Correct. good sheet interleaving, and great non-stop. Exactly. Amazing. Anything new on this machine? Anything well, else? You see, the looks are different. It's obvious. We yeah. have improved Beautiful. Uh, the usability and the make ready. So we have new panels, all that. It's easier to set up the tools as well. And then uh, you don't see here, it, this runs on the back of the machine, but we have a, uh, we're running the Koenig & Bauer Logotronic system. And this what allows us to do is to share uh, information on the performance and any data that the machine has seamlessly with other Koenig & Bauer equipment. So, so we have all Logotronic, we have industry for all connectivity correct. one customer can expect today. Yes, yes. This yes. is great. Mm -hmm. Ramon, thank you so much. My pleasure. Again, so we are very proud to introduce you today the Cut Pro Q106, the first Koenig & Bauer 100% die cutter. This is today the state of the art. We are looking forward to tell you more about these die cutters. We are waiting for you. Thank you for your attention. See you. Patrick, thank you for the explanations. I think we have seen a very good machine. I think this will really boost us into the die cutting world for tomorrow.
Mm -hmm. And I hope that our customers see it the same way with our production speeds of 9,000 sheets per hour. I think we will have a fairly competitive machine on our customer shop floors. The third pillar I was talking about, König and Bauer Duran, part of the family since end of 2018. So photo gluing is a very new technology for us. Mm -hmm. But König and Bauer Duran is a leading manufacturer of photo glues in the world. And with this system, I think we really set standards. With modular systems, we are able to bring a wide variety of products to the finishing process. But this we will see a little later, and uh, then we can experience what about photo gluing, what about die cutting, and so on. Thank you, Mario. That was a lot of information, a lot of theory. I would like to become a little more practice, have some more action. Uh, Dirk, you're back. What, what did you bring us there? Ah. Yeah, Sven. We've seen that yesterday. Oh no, we didn't see it, we made it yesterday. We made it yesterday, <laughs> and today I brought the two sheets from our yesterday's production. And we did a very good pre-work in our yesterday's session in print. And we have printed the first job. It's a luxury packaging folding box with cold foil application and many, many of coding applications. The second job was our food packaging in seven color mode with Equinox workflow and extended gamut. And with this seven color system, we are able to reproduce almost most of the special colors available for the packaging market. This sheet was printed with 20,000 sheets an hour, as we remember yesterday. So now we are going over to the post press session. Yes. And we will finish and we will post press this food packaging complete. So we will cut it and we will glue it. So in the end, the box is ready for fulfillment. And I would like to ask you to go over to the machine and waiting for the official start sign of our new uh, rotary die cutter Cut Pro X106. Yes, we will. See you later, Doug. See you. <laughs> Dear guests, we will now experience our new world premiere of our newest rotary die cutting generation. We are inviting you to a world of premiere, the market launch of our new generation of rotary die cutter. We know that highest productivity, shortest make ready times, and highest automation are the key to your success. Over the last years, and also based on feedback from you, our customers, we have developed the press from scratch. We have questioned a lot of things. We have improved things that were already very good. And we have added new functions to the rotary die cutter that is only available from Koenig and Bauer. The result is a whole new dimension for the post press segment, a machine which will make you even more successful. The result is the fastest die cutting machine in the market, our new Cut Pro X106. And because we didn't want it to droop until April 2021, now we are going to present you the new Cut Pro 106 live in production. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Mario, on last Rupa you showed the RDC. What did change on the way to the Cut Pro X, except the name? Sven, believe me, a lot. Not only the name, but you've done a lot of new developments over the last couple of years. Just want to point out a few. For instance, our new embossing tower, where you can do a high quality embossing with 15,000 sheets per hour. And this is three times faster then such quality, high quality embossings can be done on flatbed die cutters. Then there's our die cutting tower, which has been further developed in form and quality over the last years. And then last but not least, our blanking, our fully automatic blanking unit, which now will be presented in a few seconds. Yeah, uh, by Johannes. Johannes is here with us. Johannes, join us, please. Hello. Johannes, you recently assembled this machine here. Are you proud and a little bit excited? 
I am absolutely proud and also absolutely glad to show this world premiere, this exclusive product launch today to our customers and of course to you Sven. And I'm very proud of our team that we could make it in time to show this machine now live here in Radeboil. So please, um, let's make a little walk through with us, through the machine. Yeah. Show it to us. Let's do it. Stefan, our camera guy, will be with you and I will join you so that all the viewers can see all the details. I would like to give an impression of all the stations we have in this machine. So at first we have to start with our feeder. This is already well-known Rapina technology. We know it from the printing presses. This is high-tech material working up to 20,000 sheets per hour. We have our Drivetronic feeder, uh, stepless pile height feeder. The movement of the head is automatically adjusted. We have four independent servo drive axes inside. And so this is really well-known repeater technology, high-tech. This works all time, but a specialty on every Cut Pro X, which was in the former time an RDC, now is we can have this machine with a non-stop logistic system. And we see this here on our feeder table, the feeder table with a multi-chamber camera system. And this is all automatically adjusted. We can save all the settings of this machine to the Logotronic and we can also bring it back. And so the machine runs all the settings automatically. Stefan now is filming our SIS, recommended for every RDC, because the sensoric infeed system works well at every speed up to 20,000 sheets per hour. But our Cut Pro X is unfortunately for the moment limited to 15,000 sheets per hour. Which is still a world record. <laughs> which is still a world record in this segment, of course. Yeah, so until this point, nothing new, so to say, but... Uh, a lot great stuff, but no new stuff. Exactly. But we come to our first unit and we see it here. This is our embossing unit. And Mario was already talking about this. We have two magnetic cylinders, one on top, one on the bottom. And on our upper magnetic cylinder, we have those beautiful cliches. And many of our customers will know these cliches from the flatbed presses. So the system is the same, but the way it works is totally different. Because it's rotating in that makes it fast, right? Exactly. Yeah, we are rotating and we have a male-female system. So this is our male, also known from the flatbed presses. This is plastic and will be glued on the lower cylinder. And then we get a really nice embossing. And the big thing, you already said it, we are rotating. So we are embossing with 15,000 sheets per hour. And this is also a new world record, which we can bring with this machine to the customer side. Another short fact to this unit, we are working with Rapida technology, printing technology. That means we have a registration of under 15 microns. No machine can do this, and especially not at this speed. Respect, and please go on on our little walk along the machine. Yeah. Let's have a look at our second unit. Today we want to see all the units working together in line, so that means we have embossing, creasing, cutting and stripping on our fourth unit. For the creasing, we are working again with two magnetic cylinders and I prepared two plates here. You can see it a counter creasing plate and on the upper cylinder we have a creasing sword which pushes in our counter creasing channel. And then we get a really nice creasing line. But a specialty on this one is we can do a negative and a positive creasing in one step. And those plates, and Matthias can show us one of our plates we are using in the RDC. And with this, we also come to our third unit, the heart of the Cut Pro X106. This is a cutting plate. And here you see the whole layout of our cutting lines. And we can see our register pin system. We call it click to cut. And yeah. With this, you are already in register. You just have to click in the plate 
And it's not like in a normal system where even if you have a repeated job, you will have to adjust the registration a little bit. And here on the Cut Pro X, you don't have to do it. You just click in the plate and keep going. So ladies and gentlemen, forget about drag and drop. Here comes click and cut. Um, how do you produce these plates, Johannes? Yeah, these plates are produced on, a, so to say, way where we enlighten the plate on the top. And then we have a, a area which stands back and there we have an acid bath which erates all the outer lines and then we only have a line. And this line is then grinded and with a CNC manufacturing device. And so very accurate. Absolutely accurate. We are here at plus minus two microns. Okay. Yeah. The whole unit is temperature controlled. That means that when the operator comes in the morning, he is ready to start. He can come on Monday morning and the machine is already set for production. No warm-up time, need, time needed. Great. And the last step, we are passing here our stripping unit. And Matthias is helping to show it to the customer what we are doing here. Again, we are working with a male-female system. And these are polyspot plates. We, we know it from a normal coating unit. We use the exact same plates. And there, the male is pushing the waste inside of our female form. And then, you see it here, we have some vacuum chambers and also some holes. There, we are sucking the waste to the hole. The cylinder is changing to blowing air and we can bring out the waste pieces on side two of the machine. While rotating. While we are rotating with 15,000 sheets per hour. So. A last thing, they are manufactured here in-house. You can do it at home. The customer, if he has a cutting plotter, you just give a PDF to the cutting plotter with the areas you want to extract, you want to strip, and the cutting plotter is taking all out the areas. Very simple, very fast, and you have no adjustment. You just click in the plate again and keep going. Great. Sven, let's have a look what happens after. And Stefan is following us. And here we have a really nice view on our world premiere. And a lot of space. <laughs> a lot of space. This is the commando center, so to say. Christian, our operator for today, he is able to have control on the whole thing which happens here. And when we are talking about what happens here with only one man, yeah, Christian is alone in this case, then we can... Christian, don't worry, we're here with you. You're not alone. Thank you very much. <laughs> we can have a short look what is happening here. I just want to explain it short. We have a, vac a, a conveyor here on our pile, and this conveyor is filled with sheets. And uh, when we have a stack, like, for example, 40 to 60 millimeters, then this conveyor is going down, and the conveyor is rotating and we bring our stacks to the next station. Here is a turning table and on this turning table we set the stack to position onto our next belt and this belt now takes the first alignment of the side. Then comes our final positioning system and here we get a, f a production alignment for our blanking unit. And I would call it pole positioning system. <laughs> pole position. <laughs> then we are in pole position. <laughs> yeah. We come to our blanking unit and there we have done a lot of development on this unit because we make, made it much more stiffer. It has much more pressure how we can extract our whole waste frame on the sheet because in the end we want to have a final blank which can go further. But this unit also now is available with a special tool. So you see it on the top. There's a tool. It's not expensive or anything like this. It's only metal. And with this, we are able to extract very thin waste frames, up to 5 to 10 millimeters. And this is very important because we want to get much, much more or less waste. Yeah? We don't want to be more efficient. We don't want to be much faster. We also want to have less waste because... Sustainability and saving money. Exactly. <laughs> then, last part, 
but not least our stacking conveyor. He will pick up our final blanks and then in the end we will have a final stack. But enough talking, Sven, I yeah, think. Yeah, enough of the words. Let's see some action, Johannes. Let's see some action. And now Christian is going to work. Going to push a button. Oh my god. <laughs> And now magic happens, as we can see. The machine now automatically goes into position and Christian now can fire up the machine. And Stefan now is taking a very nice closer look to our delivery because here is happening something very new. We have a new Rolo. That means for the non-stop system we will now make a stack and then this Rolo is coming out with a very high speed. And with this we are able to run these, these fast speeds up to 15,000 sheets per hour. So here it comes, the first pile. Yeah. And when we talk about speed, we can also ask Stefan, we, we, we wait for the Rollo. There it okay. comes. And we also can have a look on the speed. Yes, yeah, Stefan, follow the pile. <laughs> it's magic. So actually, Stefan has the hardest job to do, to follow all these things. Yeah. And Christian is looking really relaxed, actually. But Stefan, can you also take a short look on our production speed? Yeah! Because what happens here is really magic with 15,000 sheets per hour. And when Stefan now comes, comes back to our unit, we see what is happening here. We have the final blank and our stacking conveyor picks up the blanks and brings it on our blanking pile where we have nice stacked blanks and between every two piles we put a slip sheet because we need this slip sheet you can see it there on the back he grabs a new sheet we need the slip sheet to be sure that the blanks are not falling over after we have done our blanking process okay but, Sven, I think we have seen how it works. I think it would be also good to have a look at our Let's final see the result, blank. Yeah. yeah, see the result. And, Sven, I'm coming to you and we can have a nice yes, look with pile. Stefan at the pile. Great. So, so far from the Cut Pro X, but now we can go on working with that. Yes, we want to work with this because we have to put this now on a folder glue because we want to have a nice final product and I would ask you, Sven, with Mario, to take out the pile, because at this station we could work, for example, with an iRobot. He could take the pieces, the blanks, and put it in the folder glue. In this case, we have an Emma robot. Yeah, Mario. it's it's Mario, our robot. <laughs> Please help us. Um, and while we are going over to the next machine, you maybe could just show the audience uh, our results. Of course. Because we, we would need a minute to go there. We will have a closer look at all the steps we've done on the Cut Pro X. Because we had now four units working on these sheets, making a nice cutting, creasing. We did a stripping of the internal waste. And Mario, I just pick a piece and then you can go over to our folding gluing machine, to our Alpro 110, and I will show Stefan and the audience what have we done today. See you in we a minute, Johannes. A beautiful cutting. You can see it here 
a nice registered creasing, so no sharp edges in any case. And we also have done a hole for the stripping. We also could take out other parts for the stripping. And our world premiere, also the embossing with this height. First time we can show it like this. And of course, the registration. It's really perfect centered. And I was talking about the specialties about the Cut Pro. So we can do a positive and a negative creasing because we have here a crash lock button box. So we also have a creasing from the other side, but the customer can do counter scoring as well in our creasing unit. And when I have a look at this, I have to check it. Cutting is nice. Also, these edges are important because then we need this to close the box. And Mario, I think here at the Cut Pro X, we are ready to hand over to the Al Pro. These boxes are ready made by the Cut Pro X, our world premiere here in Radebeul. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Johannes. And yes, here it is, the Alpro 110. Mario, give us some information, please. Yes, here we are at the new Alpro 110. And I think we will be starting shortly with the, with the production. But let me get on some inside news. König and Bauer Duran, a family member since the end of 2018. What we see is that we set standards in the folding carton and corrugated uh, cardboard gluing. We have a machine portfolio of overall four different systems, starting with the Intro as perfect starter. Then comes the Alpro as most versatile folder gluer with speeds up to 400 meters per minute. Then the Alius as top performance in high speed machine with speeds up to 600 meters per minute. And the Magnus as specialty folder gluer line for corrugated. The widths we cover in the folding carton section is up to 185 centimeters, and you see this covers almost all kinds of boxes out there. The machines are characterized by a robust machine design and the high flexibility in substrates and shapes. We really have an unlimitless type of boxes which are possible to be produced on our standard machines. Doesn't matter if it's straight line, automatic bottom, four point or six point. The folding systems are specifically made to your needs and on customer requests. And what you see now is our newest and latest generation of the Alpro, which is still at König and Bauer Duran in Istanbul. It looks like this, and yes, it will be available for you soon and shortly, and then we can, like, you, we can have a great and much deeper look into this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our uh, single blank here. We already embossed it, we creased it, we die cut it, we stripped it, and we blanked it, and now let's get it folded and glued. Yeah, that will be very easy. Uh, Mike already uh, loaded the, the feeder, and uh, let me start the production. We will, we will start easy off, that we can explain everything, and then we, when we are going to speed up. Okay. So, Normally, we can easily install one of our pre-feeders pre here up front. This is one of our modular systems to have an, uh, an automatic blank feeding in that sense. Now, what we have here is our side register. The side register is being able to, to, to register on both sides, left and right. Here, what we see here is a right side registration. And then it comes already in one of our modular systems. In this can be used for, uh, for intersection gluing, it can be used for rear edge folding, but in this case, it's an extended pre-fold system. You see this here, very easy. Then what you hear, the air sound, is our air fold system, which, uh, which helps us to, 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 to raise up the flex for the for the crash lock bottom, it can be done by hooks or by the air, air fold system. In that case, we save roughly 70% on make ready times, which is very important when you have a lot of runs, a lot of make readies. Then we come to our pre fold section. The uh, crease number one is being brought. What we see here is the next automatic setup possibility 
It's our memory system. Okay. You type in all kinds of uh, data of your of your blank of your box, and then by pressing the blue button, everything is being made ready automatically. Like a modern car seat. Like a modern car seat. No operator interference. Then we have the uh, the prefold section number two, where the crease number three is being prepared, and then we automatically come to our gluing system. Gluing system in that case done by H by HHS. You see this here with the uh, gluing nozzle. Maybe the camera can go a little closer and, and see the individual gluing gluing dots. We can also do the gluing with the uh, glue disc. It's really depending what kind of application you have, what kind of job you run. So it is a very um, flexible system. What do we see now? Our final fold section. And now I would like to ask Mike to increase the speed. Since we have seen a lot, I think it's more interesting to see this thing flying wow, okay. a little quicker, a little faster. Yeah, it wouldn't, we wouldn't, would have not been able to see any details at no, that speed. No, at, not at all. So wow. now we come towards production mode, towards production speeds. This is a final, final fold. And then we come to the transfer section, transfer from folding uh, now towards our, our, our press section. But what I want to show you here is the screen. We have um, 200, 200 meters a minute on speed, and we are going to produce 39,000 30, boxes per hour. Wow. After that, we come to our press section, where the boxes are being pressed together. They are prepared now for shipping. Prepared now for shipping. We need to come a little little closer to the end. When we see that, and... Uh, Mike is already working here. And what we do here is, yeah. I just grab one, and uh, this is for you. Okay, thank you. I'm not a professional car box, uh, car box folder, but that what it was easy. Yes, but here we go. When what you see, we, we build your imagination. <laughs> Whatever box you want, we can manufacture it. Uh, it, it would take me a bit more time to just build all these boxes up. I wouldn't be able to do about 38,000 per hour. But hey, that's not my job. <laughs> <laughs> my job is to say thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. Come back tomorrow, final day here from Radebeul, from König & Bauer Schiedfett. We will have another great presentation tomorrow on our uh, Rota, uh, on our um, Rapida 106X, and we will have a lot of uh, um, job changes in between a 20 minutes show we will have tomorrow. Uh, Mario, thanks a lot for all the informations. Thanks again to Johannes and Dirk, and uh, please come back tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Thank you.